Hello everybody and welcome back where today we're going to be taking one more look at that fabled Android Central article on PSVR 2 which by the end I was a bit disappointed by in terms of the quality of them looking objectively at VR as a whole and PSVR 2 but the one piece of information we're looking at today a little bit more in depth now that the dust has settled is the information that two VR games are currently in development at Sony and we're talking first party games here from what they said. So what could they be? What am I expecting them to be? What's the probability of them getting cancelled this far into development? What are the completely out there predictions we can make while we're talking all that today? Before we jump in though, we've just hit 10k and I could not be more thankful for that. That's an incredible number and we've been building to it for a while. If you'd like to help me on my little YouTube journey here, please feel free to sub and like as every single one you do help out the channel. Anyway, let's continue and talk about what could be on the horizon for Sony with PSVR 2 for these two first party games. First of all, what's my most boring possible prediction? Well, if we're talking first party, I would say Gran Turismo 8 is a very safe bet. This could come out at the very end of the PS5 life cycle or more likely at the start of the PS6 life cycle. And there's every indicator from the past that PS6 would support PSVR 2. It'll probably have that DisplayPort USB-C port at the front, just how PS5 supported PSVR 1. So it's very possible GT8 could come with the same VR support that GT Sport and GT7 had. It would just be a natural progression. And that is a first party Sony studio. That's Polyphony Digital doing the GT games. So if I had to place a bet on a really boring option that is very, very obvious, I would say Gran Turismo 8 is one of those. Now, the article didn't specify first party, but they said Sony were working on these games. And if I had to guess, they would be pointing towards first party studios here. But if I had to throw another one in there that could be Sony funded, but not first party, it would be Bandai Namco with Ace Combat 8. Ace Combat 7 had some VR missions, and wouldn't it be just great if Ace Combat 8 came around and instead of having just VR missions and a free flight mode, it had all of that, but the multiplayer and campaign was playable in VR, possibly with sense controller support. Although, if it just had dual sense, I'd be perfectly happy with that. But that's another one that I could definitely see happening. Ace Combat 7's VR mode was a very big draw for PSVR for some people. For me, I absolutely loved it. And it's one of the reasons, apart from Astro Bot Rescue Mission, that I would go back to my PSVR and try it out every once in a while. So definitely Ace Combat 8 could be on that list. If I had to go absolutely wild, it could be possible that, you know, Insomniac could have the reins of a Spider-Man VR game with their plate being totally full with AAA flat screen games. Probably not. Same goes for some of the other AAA Sony studios. I doubt that we'd see a big mainstay like Naughty Dog taking on a VR game. It would more likely be them supporting a smaller studio like Gorilla did with Fire Sprite for Horizon Call the Mountain, that sort of thing. If we are looking at AAA games here. The article didn't say whether or not these games would be AAA, AA, independent, but funded by Sony. We have no idea, but going on there being two of them in development from Sony themselves, I'd hedge them on being on the larger scale and larger side, like Horizon, like Resi, and like GT7. It was apparently brought up in a couple of leaks that I actually haven't seen myself, but have been parroted around a lot, that it could be a Last of Us and Killzone VR game. I have played through Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, both on the PS4 remastered version, the Part 1 remake and Part 2, and absolutely love that series, and I would absolutely kill for a Last of Us VR game. I said it in my Q&A on our 10,000 sub video. It's one of the universes I would love to see explored in virtual reality. The chances of that happening from Naughty Dog, I'd say, are quite low, but a smaller studio, definitely I could see take the reins on one of those. However, these rumors are completely unfounded in terms of their basis, but wouldn't it be nice to dream of a Last of Us VR game? And it would be an absolute moneymaker for Sony if it was a compact eight hour story set in the Last of Us universe where you take on clickers, other humans, with some terrifying moments in the amazing setting of the Last of Us. It would just be great. Now, looking at the other one from those basically unfounded leaks, but this one has a little bit more basis to it, is Killzone VR. This is a game that has been rumored for as far as I can remember, to be honest. Killzone VR is one of the ones where it was leaked back on PSVR that it actually was kind of being worked on. It was kind of an open secret, and then it was unsure whether it got dropped or reworked into something else. But it is a true possibility that we could see that on PSVR 2 at some point. 
an older IP for PlayStation like that could be perfect to bring back into the limelight as a VR game and get some of the older gamers who absolutely loved the Killzone series on board the PSVR 2 train if they weren't already. I personally haven't played Killzone. From what I'm hearing from quite a few people, I probably should, but it would be a perfect introduction as a VR game to get me into the series for sure. I'm just hoping that if this ever does surface as a PSVR 2 game, that it is polished and has a direction because if something has been in development hell for this long and hasn't come out, there's every chance that it could go wrong somewhere along that path and could just be a complete mess upon launch. But hopefully if it does end up revealing itself, it is very, very solid and makes everybody, including Killzone and non-Killzone fans alike happy. Now, going back to that Android Central article for a second, they did say that they wouldn't be surprised if these games are canceled. Well, I'm not so sure. We have seen a fair few cancellations by Sony recently, but it seems like most of the layoffs are done. For now, it is horrendous to see those happen and cancellations and shutdowns of studios. We seem to be in a bit of a better spot in the last month or so. But honestly, that is such a low bar to clear because it has been a horrendous in the gaming space and the VR space recently in terms of layoffs and cutbacks. But I would hope that Sony wouldn't cancel these if they have been in development for a while. If the Android Central article is to be believed, these things have probably been planned in advance and Sony have probably planned out the first few years of PSVR 2 with a couple games each year maybe to support the uh, backlog of indies and other game studios coming in and providing games. So hopefully their plan is clear and they're not going to cut back on this. Although Sony has undertaken new leadership as Jim Ryan has left as of recently so their priorities could change and they could shift funds away from virtual reality if it is just a money pit that it seems to be out right now in terms of the industry as a whole so we'll have to see. Anyway, there's a whole host of speculation abound. And to be honest, I have no idea what the future is going to hold. But if we're looking at the future, what we do know, it seems that we've got a great 2024 ahead of us with Wanderer, The Fragments of Fate, Alien, Rogue Incursion, Metro and Behemoth. Those are four massive VR games that I'm so excited for. And all of them are playable on PSVR 2 as well as other platforms. So whatever you're playing on, I hope you do enjoy them. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to our patrons and YouTube members, Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, Ace Gamer, Hippie Pickle, Jin007, a license to chill, Sun WTF, Piosco, and Fat Controllers. All of you patrons and YouTube members help keep the channel going day after day and week after week, so I thank you very much. Anyway, thank you all for watching once again, and I'll see you all in the next one.